Okay, so we are looking at a broad, um, right, a more comprehensive video talking about the classes of anti cancer drugs, or we're talking about like classification or types of anti cancer drugs. That's drugs using what treatment of cancer, right? Yes, so for the anti cancer drugs, uh, we'll just be talking about like the classes, like some few examples. Do you understand? So each of these classes will still talk about them again individually. Now each of these drugs will still make individual pharmacology, like pharmacology of bosulfan, pharmacology of chlorambucil again. All right. So it's a whole long ride. You understand? So just learn small, small. So we have acylating agents. These ones they add acyl group to the DNA molecule. Now you should know that acyl group is not supposed to be in the DNA molecule. So this will now what? disrupt how the DNA will replicate or form copies of itself again. So it's now little what? Cell death, especially in cells that are usually rapidly dividing. These are the examples. Cyclophosphamide, melphalan, busulfan, chlorambucil, carmostane. Moving to the next. Antimetabolites. Antimetabolites usually block the enzyme enzymes that are involved in what DNA and RNA synthesis I know that what DNA and RNA production is needed for the cell to continue living and producing copies of itself so if you block all those enzymes you render the cell helpless okay so drugs like what methotrexate 5 fluorouracil citarabine gemcitabine cis mecaptopurine see all of them there with some added notes if you're interested you can pause to read then all right it's a good slide too now we also have plant alkaloids so plant alkaloids are also known as what mitotic inhibitors so these agents they bind to tubulin which is a protein that is essential for formation of microtubules then they inhibit mitosis now if mitosis is not there the cell cannot what form copies of itself so examples of these drugs are what vein cresting vein blasting paclitazel doxetazel okay all the examples of what plant alkaloids so moving forward um we have topoisomerase inhibitors these ones are enzymes that what the uh, okay topoisomerases they usually help in unwinding of the DNA but the inhibitor drugs now will stop those enzymes so that means what DNA will not be unwound of course there will be no what DNA uh, division and all of that right so examples of those drugs will have things like what dosorubicin, downorubicin, etopoxide and um, irinotecan so they stop what the enzymes that will help in what the DNA is splitting. I understand. Then we have the anti tumor antibiotics. This one they interfere with DNA and RNA synthesis in cancer cells. Right? Mechanism of action is they bind to DNA to the cause it to break. They prevent transcription of RNA. So dosorubicin, bleomycin, mitomycin C. Then we have the hormonal agent, which we have looked at them a lot when we are talking about what SEMS. All right, that's a um, selective estrogen receptor modulators. So tamoxifen, anastrozole, luprolide, okay, flutamide. Spoken about all of them. Then targeted therapies, okay. There are those drugs that target specific molecules involved in growth and what how the cancer cells will be able to spread, okay. So they are, they are, their action is precise, you understand? They are finding what particular guys to attack. So examples is what? Imatinib, Trastuzumab, Gefitinib, Rituzumab, okay? All of them are there, writing where they can actually be using treating and all of that. The monoclonal antibodies, they, they are made in the laboratory, okay? So they combine to specific or target antigens on the cancer cells. So they now help. They are kind of like uh, they announce and tell the immune system that hey, this and uh, these stuffs here are actually what bad guys. They are bad cells. 
you know some cancers actually mimic the body's own cell so examples of monoclonal antibodies we have things like what bevacizumab trastuzumab rituzumab and all of that okay then um angiogenesis inhibitors i think this should be the last now for a cancer cell to be growing it actually needs a lot of blood supply in fact their own blood supply is like special it's so high so usually there is a lot of blood vessels that generate to ensure that the cancer is having a lot of blood so angio is blood vessels genesis is formation so these drugs are stop trying to stop the formation of these new blood vessels that are usually formed if there's a cancer so examples of these drugs we have what bevacizumab and what sunitinib okay so they actually block the signaling pathways responsible for formation of new blood vessels they now starve the tumor cells of that extra oxygen and extra nutrient that is usually used to get so i hope this is a good classification of anti-cancer drugs so see you guys